We're rolling blue on blue on this trip. It's a blue kind of trip. It's gonna be a good day. We're in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Today we're gonna make it all the way to our destination close to Appleton, Wisconsin. We're trucking. This is I-94 eastbound, Minnesota. We're just about to pass by Alexandria. I think I'm gonna go past Minneapolis and fuel into Wisconsin in Menominee at the Loves. Mostly for the location. I can take my half hour break there then as well. And from there I can easily get to my customer and sleep right there overnight. That way I'm ready for them first thing 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. I have four drops tomorrow. They're pretty simple, they're just one piece each. They're pretty big pieces, but just one piece each. Be running around from Menominee down to Manitowoc. Uh, there's one more that I don't remember, and the fourth one we're ending off in the uh, well-known city now of Kenosha, Wisconsin. I've never actually been to that city, so <laughs> heard a lot about it. I'm gonna go check it out, see what Kenosha's all about. Drop off our last piece there and then see what they got for us after that. I've got the 53 foot flat roll tight behind me. So I don't gotta worry about tarping on this trip anyway. It's kinda nice. <laughs> side of Minneapolis, headed south down I-694. We're about to do that crazy corner where everybody cuts each other off. Go around the Cloverleaf onto Interstate 94 East. This is always an interesting intersection. It was designed terribly. Anyone who's driven through here before can back me up on that. A good day so far though the weather is very mild it's actually plus four here right now which is what 40 Fahrenheit 30 36 38 Fahrenheit somewhere in there Two kilometers, slide right on I 94 East. roads have been clear and dry drivers for the most part have been pretty good I've only been cut off twice going around the cities here and that's not bad we'll see if that uh, number increases at this intersection I'm, I'm kind of thinking it will because it usually does but sometimes we get lucky and no one cuts in front of you you got to pay close attention you'll see the traffic coming from the i-94 is merging onto this highway and you're also merging off this highway and their off-ramp and your on-ramp are the exact same lane it's ridiculous <laughs> It's a terrible design. But it's all we got to work with here. So we'll make the most of it. Just keep our head up. No, it looks like we might. Oh no, there's traffic coming up here now. See, we don't want to go down this exit. That's not the problem. It's exit 58B that's the problem. Meters, 
meters. Slide right on I-94 East and then keep to the left at 460 meters. Okay, this isn't so bad. You see, they're coming up right there and they got to merge from this lane onto this highway. And I've got to use the same lane to merge off of this highway onto that highway. That was actually pretty flawless. We got lucky. We got lucky. Usually it's just a giant kerfluffle right there. Keep to the left on I-94. Oh, sorry to get your hopes up. No near misses or anything today. Gotta be careful here. Oh, look at that. I thought for sure it would be way way more exciting than this. Like in the middle of rush hour. It's like four o'clock p.m. Well, it's a Sunday though, I forgot. I keep thinking it's a Monday. It's a Sunday, that's why. Okay. I gotta show you this intersection on like a Friday afternoon. price here in US dollars is four dollars and six cents per US gallon let's go see how much I need I'm thinking I probably need about a hundred and twenty gallons let's see how well I know my truck 127 gallons I was off by seven gallons pretty close though right with all the conversions to Canadian and to liters, it was a total of $1.43 per liter for diesel fuel here. In Manitoba when I left, the price of diesel fuel was $1.95 per liter. So still over 50 cents cheaper per liter here in Wisconsin as opposed to up in Manitoba, Canada. Take the entrance to the left on I-94 East. that they do something about those fuel prices like I've said before the fuel in Canada is always more expensive always but 
not usually that much more expensive. We kind of know why. I mean, they're adding tax over tax over tax, and then they're tripling the tax, and then what do you expect? I still have to drive. I still have to fuel. Whenever I have a chance, whenever I have the opportunity, I just give my money to the U.S. So once again today, by fueling here in Wisconsin instead of at home before I left in Manitoba, I saved myself $250 Canadian, about $200 American. I have to deliver right into this building, 7 a.m. So I'm parked in the back here. It's pretty well lit. Looks like it's a new store that's opening. So I'll be here for them right as soon as they open up. It says they're receiving opens at 7 a.m. My appointment's for 7 a.m. also. But seeing as I'm here already, I may be able to get all ready like around six o'clock and then uh, as soon as they get here, maybe they'll come on a little bit. It's just one piece. Like It is a pretty big, long piece, but it, it, it'd take five minutes to unload it. So we'll, we'll see how quickly we can get unloaded. Then I have three other drops in the area here. Like I said, my next one is Manitowoc, I believe. Let me put you down here. Manitowoc. Yep. And then after Manitowoc, we go to Wauwatosa. Very Wisconsin sounding town names, you know? And then after Wauwatosa, we go to the infamous Kenosha, Wisconsin. Appointment times are 7 a.m., 9 a.m., 1 p.m., and 3 p.m. So it should be empty and buttoned up, ready to go by like 3.30 to wherever my reload is from here. All right, so they don't usually allow trucks parking in back lanes behind box stores, or some places allow it, some places don't. Just in case if someone comes up here and questions what I'm doing parked back here, I've uh, taped a copy of the BOL and a little note here saying that there's a 7 a.m. delivery and the driver is inside the truck. That's me. So if they have any questions, they don't need to call a tow truck or anything, they can just knock on the door and I'll be like, yeah, I'm delivering here in a couple of hours. I'm just early. And hopefully they don't have a problem with that. But at least that way, yeah. They got a problem with me here. I'm you know, out of the way, they're not gonna have a problem. But if they do, for whatever reason, they know I'm inside the truck. They can see that I'm delivering, that it's legit. I'm not just making stuff up. And hopefully they'll just let me sleep through the night until at least like 6 a.m. So, not wake me up at three in the morning. Excuse me, what are you doing here? Can you read? I'm waiting for my delivery time. I'm sleeping. Can I help you? <laughs> uh, just in case I'm going to talk there, in case there's like a security vehicle or security guard or whatever that comes back here, then they know. I don't know. Do you guys do that too? I always, I want to get my sleep. When I go back there, I want to sleep. All right. I'm going to set my alarm for 6 a.m. That's an hour before they're going to open up here. Maybe I'll even get up at 5.30 a.m. Who knows? But until then, I want to sleep, and I don't want to be interrupted at 2 or 3 in the morning by maybe a security guy just wondering what I'm doing here. I'd rather just let him know, hey, this is what I'm doing here, so that he can be like, oh, cool. All right, then I'll let him sleep, and he'll go on and do his security stuff over there, you know? I'm no security risk. I'm a harmless Canadian. I mean you no harm, okay? I mean you no harm. I'm just trying to make a buck or two, eh? I just want to deliver some stuff in the morning. Okay, just your friendly neighborhood Canadian hanging out here in Appleton, Wisconsin. Don't hurt me, please. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit that like button if you do like my videos. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. 
a lot of you watch every day and you haven't subscribed yet, that subscription, it's free and it does actually help me out a lot with algorithms and stuff. So that's the easiest way you can help me out is just to subscribe, hit the like button. And of course, there's some people that always don't like my videos. Uh, you guys are always free to double tap that dislike button if you really didn't like my videos. And I'll see you back here tomorrow because you always come back. I know you do.